What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're switching the oil on the A86. So I went to Walmart today and they had Toyota oil filters, pretty cool. Uh, this is the part number for the A86, 90915YZZF2. So if you ever wanna go get at Toyota or maybe even check your local Walmart, they might have it as well. I'm starting to have some um, valve tick. So I'm gonna try 20W50, I know a lot of guys that don't really go up to this they usually go up to like maybe 15 40 uh, some people online say that 2050 was fine with their 4ag so i might try it out it's not really great on gas but then uh, it's good if your 4ag has a lot of miles which mine does so let's go ahead and try this out and see if the valve ticking goes away you know that's more of a band-aid but we'll check it out i got my car on these right here and they're great because you don't have to jack it up, put it on stands, it just sits there and then you just wheel chalk the back and then you're good. Don't forget to put your e-brake up and put it in gear as well. Don't forget to open up your oil can and take out your dipstick. Now you're just gonna slide your oil pan under Make sure to get the right wrench size, which is a 19 for 86. And it's lefty loosey, righty tidy. Don't forget to hold on to this bolt, let it go, and there goes your oil. Now that your oil is drained, uh, you want to remove the oil filter. And what you need is a tool like this. So you just go in here. And the 4AG's oil filter is actually really, really easy to get to. Not every car is going to be this easy. And you can see it's just right here. So all I got to do is get the tool. Stick it on. And then you just pull left. Now that you got it loosen, you don't need this tool no more. Cassette it to the cassette it to the side, and you just remove it by hand. Remember to have your oil pan down under so it catches all the rest of the oil. And there it is. And here is the new Toyota OEM oil filter. You can see it here. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, but it should be perfect. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, but it should work just as fine. Uh, it is Toyota, and these filter are a lot better than these anyways. So let's go ahead and take off the seal here. And you can see that Toyota puts a seal on because they already grease it up for you. If not, then you're going to have to get some fresh oil and grease up the seal here so that it'll, it could create a better seal when you tighten down the oil filter. Nice to get your funnel and your oil and you just use your knuckle to break it through. And then you pour. Remember to read uh, your manual to see how much quarts of oil your, your car takes. This one takes four, and this is a five quart, so you're just gonna leave one quart in. Now you just gotta close it up with the cap, put your dipstick back in, double check the oil level, and you're good to go. 